Scott Wong. <laughs> and I that like was it. not a Wong answer. <laughs> <laughs> you can say that. And he was so sweet. Got it. So, so you sweet. never felt that pressure at all? Never. Yeah. Never I think, at all. Uh, you were encouraged. I know when I uh, brought James into my life, I did not choose James on purpose. Aww. I did not, yeah. No, it was, it was done because of compatibility. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying to a lot of my sisters. I want to speak to my sisters because she's right here. Oh, yes. Connie. Yes. Talk to us. I love no, I, 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 because of mass incarceration, there's a lot of, um, you know, there's some people that it's just not available. Yeah. And I'm just tired of seeing my sisters alone. You are a good woman, and you deserve to have happiness. Yeah. You deserve to have happiness like everyone else. And the issue here that we're trying to, like, walk eggshells over is why do you feel like you yeah. can't go outside of your race without someone? I will say it then. I, yeah, yeah. Will, I, feel, uh, I feel like what they said. I feel like I would be turning against them. Right. That's real. That's what I'm saying. And, and you're I'm not so glad that's you were real, honest about you will that. Have, you will have people actually criticize you yeah. for it, and that's the reality. Yeah. I didn't know how much criticism I would get once I introduced my boyfriend to the world because of my lifestyle at home. Wow. Everybody was so, you know, welcoming. But the moment I went to the Billboard Awards, I'll never forget it, it was the first time this American sweetheart experienced so much hate and I didn't under, I didn't understand it. Yeah. So I'm really happy that we are talking about this now. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Don't be afraid. Love. Don't be afraid. Love is love. And that's the beautiful thing about yeah. God and I hope, I mean heaven. The thing is, is we're gonna have all different types yeah. of yeah. races yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I applaud you for taking that moment. It was a struggle for you. You it took was. that I moment. I was trying to skirt over it, but you and, know, and Lonnie has, is like a truth serum. Mm, yeah. <laughs> behind what makes yeah. But everybody of a culture, you might not take the moment to just think behind why haven't you ventured out if you don't. Mm -hmm. And if you pre prefer not to, that's fine, but just to wonder if there's something holding you back from stigmas or old ideologies like Yeah, that. but I, I have a very public, everything is such a public yeah. platform with yeah. Right. Too. yeah. So at this point, I'm just scared of men in general. Mm. Yeah, that's on. That's it real. Yeah. And that's no, why I'm scared. Like, like when I found my sister, she loves me for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So right. to find somebody who will love me for me yeah. is a little, you that know. That person is out there. Yeah. I yeah. Is he? Yeah. Yes. You just yes. have to take your time. You just have to really take your time. Well, Lottie, you were supposed yourself. to hook me up with the thing <laughs> on the thing. I am. I'm still going to do thing. it. Yeah. I'm still going to do it. But okay. I want to say something, too, to be honest. When you date outside your culture and it's not your culture, mm -hmm. there's going to be differences. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? That's yeah. You like know, what? I mean, like I, I try to keep a beat with James, and I just can't keep a <laughs> beat with him. It's yeah, just... are there any things that are almost adventurous and fun, though? That's like, what I I'm think saying. You don't have to look at it in a negative way. You could be like, yo, there's so many new no, cool things I'm about negative, to learn. No, it's not negative, but it's, it's an it's a, a you know? eye-opening. Like, he's different. Yeah. His culture is different from mine. But when we come together, we know about compatibility. Yes, yes. And that's, yes. yes. And oh, that's what so. I consider the word interracial to be inter-responsible. It is your responsibility if I you date another word. person of their culture. Get to know their background. Exactly. Get to know their heritage, their traditions. Not all cultures are the, are the same. Mr. Wong might not have it with Miss Mai, yeah. and, and then we might have different cultures that we do you know, um, in different ways. But most important thing is to venture outside of your safe zone because there's something else out there that you could learn from and really learn to benefit yourself. Well, I had a yeah. question for Lonnie. Like, what? What's one of those things that you really enjoyed learning about him that was, like, really different? Um, the thing that's different about him is that that's it's not true. about him being better. He's still a man. Yeah. But it's the loyalty that I like. Ooh. Oh. You know what I mean? It's like, I can leave. Oh. oh. And he's there for me. And he loves you so much. He loves you so much. The way he treats you. The way he talks to her. I have like, sweetie, one friend. Honey. I was talking to her, and um, we, we would, it was a podcast. And you know her really well. And she's like, you know, I don't need no man. And I, I have my what you're talking about and, immediately. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, girl, 
all, don't, and this is why I'm so emotional about it, because so many of our sisters are so lonely, yeah. Yeah. and they don't want to admit it, and all they got to do is just take a chance. So I don't want you to live your life without finding someone. Like, when I go out on the road and I come back, it's so nice to have somebody to say, hey, or pick me up from the airport. Yeah. Yeah. Or, you know, your Treat husband you like a lady. Yeah. up. I will tell you, I miss being in the arms of a man. Yes, that's real. Yeah. I do. I really, that's one of the things. It's like, I just want to lay my head on a man's chest. I miss that. I do. Yeah. And that's the thing that you deserve, you know? You, and I don't want you to stop giving up on that. Me? And it doesn't make you like, it doesn't make you a weak woman. To no, say, it feels I good. Need that. Do you know yeah. what I Like, I need yeah. that or I want that. And yeah. I think sometimes as women, we put so much pressure on ourselves to be oh. so independent and strong and I don't need anybody. And it's actually refreshing to hear you say, I miss that. Yeah. I would like yeah. that. That's being I want truthful. That. That's being truthful because yeah. I think I know for me growing up in the projects, my mama always said, you know, you just get your education, you stay away from boys, you, you yeah. graduate, yeah. you get you a good job. And I did all of that, but she didn't tell me, also get you a good man. Yeah. And I tried. You gotta do something for your heart. I tried. Too. Yeah. What about and it your just heart? Wasn't, and sometimes it don't work out. I ain't saying the first person you go out with is gonna work out. It may not. I see you, sister. I see you. Aww. You keep doing it, okay? You don't give up. You deserve love like everybody else. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I know. It's it's Aww. just so because we're hurting as a nation. And a lot of the things that you see, the, how we're divided, how we're mean, yeah. is because we don't have the love that we yeah. need. And you need to go out yeah. and find it. That one person yeah, there's a that lot makes of you feel good. Yes. That one person that you can turn to when you have a bad day. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to turn to your girlfriends or your mama or somebody. You turn to that one person, he understands and looks in your eye. Yeah. That's the one you keep. And I don't care what color he is. Yes, yes. absolutely. Absolutely. Oh. Okay. <sighs> That How was we so supposed to transition after that? Yes. <laughs> well, let's take a break. Okay.